Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Ivan. If you're new to this channel, it's... Oh, this video is going to be posted on Intuitive Talk with Ivan, and it's also going to be posted on Unity for Gaia. That is another channel that myself and my wife actually have created. Um, I've been very much in my thoughts as of lately uh, for a lot of the men that are waking up or they're going through their awakening process, which i.e. translate to Congratulations, you're very freaking intuitive. Um, whether it's being able to perceive energies, entities, spirits, auras, um, if your clear audience is turned on, and I say that turned on, but it's for some people it's been on all their lives, for some people it's now coming online. Many, uh, many abilities have been coming online for a lot of people where your clear clairaudient, claircognizant, clairvoyant, clairsentient, all the clairs. Claire, 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 Claire. Who's Claire? I know a Claire. She's a goofball. Um, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is uh, in a lot of the new age spiritual community, there's a lot of stuff that really is more feared towards the w women. And there's not a lot of stuff for the, for the dudes the bros, the guys, the man, man's man, you know, that man. Um, but there's a lot of, a lot of videos out there that have a lot of very pertinent information, but it doesn't freaking really tell you things that helps you here internally, right? Um, Sure, knowledge is power, and you can get a lot of knowledge, whether it's from the uh, awake community, spiritual community, UFO community, whatever community. Uh, there's not a lot of emphasis on healing for the guys, healing your your own inner stuff. Some people call it inner demons, but they're not demons. They're just your own inner stuff that needs to be addressed. Some Some of it can be can stem from actual uh, cultures, lifetimes, whatever. I'm just gonna stick with this lifetime. A lot of it is due to the, how you've been educated via your family, um, via your culture, uh, via the media, because whether people wish to acknowledge it or not, a lot of behaviors uh, we pick up a lot from the media, whether it's celebrities, whether it's movies, it doesn't matter. There are a lot of programming, programs, TV programs, hello, it's called a program for a reason, right? That we take information in and we make it our own and it becomes part of our identity. Why is it that this is a hypothetical? If there happen to be contact with beings from another star system, why is it that a lot of the mass population goes into fear and goes into, oh my God, we're being invaded. There's been a lot of movies of invasion of aliens and things like that. Where are the movies that actually promote or um, touch on, wow, there's actually beings from other star systems that are benevolent that wish to make contact and say, hello, we're your neighbors. We're here to assist. We're here to show you and share with you our culture. Where's that at? And this comes back to programming, comes back to what has your culture taught you? What has your, more specifically, what has your parents taught you? Because your upbringing has a big, big impact on, on, who you are, how you decide to participate in this life, how you decide to engage. Are, are you from the hood? You know what I'm saying? Talking with the slang, talking all, all this, all the ebonic shit, you know what I mean? Or are you from the country, speaking more with a twang? You know, hey boy, come here boy, that whole thing. Are you Hispanic? Or do you have a little bit of Latino flavor? You, are you are you a little bit on the Boricua side? Hola, papi, como esta? Or are you more on the... Uh, just, these are just examples, you know. I'm Hispanic, I'm Mexican. I, I can be all the... You will away all fucking day long. But 
what does that do for me if I'm starting to um, figure out that I got to do some introspection and do some internal self-reflection of what do I need to address in myself and seeing what's actually genuinely me and what's something that I've learned that I was educated, whether it was family, cultures, TV programs, or anything of that nature. And what I've been noticing as I have been going through my own journey, um, as far as healing myself, you know, I've learned about uh, hypnosis sessions, I've learned about breath work. Um, I've, of course, I'm very clairaudient. I'm, I, I am clairvoyant to an extent and I'm learning to be more of that. You know, a lot of these abilities are very innate within myself and uh, have come forward. I communicate with spirits, I communicate with energies, so on and so forth. What does that mean? And how do I apply it in my everyday? Because even though you're awakening, you're remembering, and for some of us and for, for many of you guys, it's the same thing. We're all humans. We're going through this experience. There's gonna be flashes of information or imagery from hey i just had a flash or a scene of this lifetime what what the ever loving f does that mean to me i don't know i'll chuck it up as that's odd or that's weird what is that telling you you know when you start having memories come back when you start having information come forward for you what does that even mean and how do you make sense and what does that mean for you? That is part of your awakening. That's part of your remembrance process as a lot of men and women are going through. But I, unfortunately, I have not seen a lot of stuff out there to assist men in their own healing process. And when you got a lot of this random information and it seems random because from your everyday living perspective, it is. You have no reference point. How do, what do I do with this? I don't know right? Um, there's not a lot of guidance out there. At least I haven't found it. And I've, since 2013, since I started going into, to, through this process of remembering who I am and f trying to sort a lot of this stuff out, is like, what is this? Is this, what is this? What do I do with this? And a lot of what I've been noticing as I've come across a lot of these informations, you have, you know, this one person over here saying this, this other person over here is doing that. This other person says, if you're into the uh, galactic flavor, okay, these types of beings are saying this, this other person saying that, this person says they know how to do this, this person does a lot of the yoga stuff. And, and a lot of it, you know, if you stand back and you, there's a lot of information on the internet, including this video that I'm making and I'm making it for a pr purpose to hopefully assist the guys with their own stuff. To me, it, it starts turning into a lot of distractions and a lot of that uh, takes away from what should really be promoted with all of humanity is start looking internal, start meditating. And some people are like, F off with the meditation, dude. That's that's your freaking pansy, whatever. And I get it. You know, there's some dudes that are like, that are like, screw you, mother effer. That's some freaking fairy ass shit. Da 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 da. Sure. If you don't want to meditate, start observing your thoughts. Start observing what thoughts are constantly running through your mind. Those thoughts are what's creating your environment. Those thoughts are actually what's creating the mood you're in all day. And you can create a mood where you're like, <sighs> chill, relax, being productive, whatever, and making ends meet and so on and so forth. Um, and that's gonna be something I'll touch on in a little bit. Or are you constantly having a lot of negative thoughts? Am I entertaining certain media that puts me in a negative mindset or like in a lot of the well community, lower frequency, which is true. Start observing that and start figuring out why you are constantly entertaining that. And start questioning yourself. Not looking externally, not looking for a guru, not looking for me to do the work for you or tell you what you need to do. I can advise, I can bring forward information 
what you do with that information is totally up to you. Um, and what I've been noticing is for men, there hasn't been a lot of that guidance out there. Um, there's a lot of fluff. There's a lot of, you know, love, light, and all this, which is great. It's great. That there's nothing wrong with that. What about uh, the everyday living? What about this construct that we live in? You need money. So as a male, I've been taught, I've been educated through my culture, our culture, through the systems. The men's the breadwinner. The, the man has a responsibility to provide for the family and all this. You're, you're supposed to be a man's man. You're supposed to be this. You're supposed to be that. You're supposed to be. You're supposed to be. You're supposed to be. Who is running that? Who's telling you what you're supposed to be? Is that something that your parents are saying? Is that something that the media, the culture is saying? And to an extent, yeah, you have to be responsible for your own survivability. And, and as, a, as a male here, that is something that via tradition, via culture, the male provides typically, right? That's great. That is a program I really don't like that program. That is, that is a pattern that a lot of the men have been taught. This is what men do and what have you. And if you're starting to wake up and you're starting to become more connected with, with your intuition and blah, 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 you start hearing all these people say, well, you know, you should get out of the matrix and you should start doing living off the grid and all this stuff and blah, blah, and so on and so forth. If you can swing it, by all means, do it. If you're already doing it, phenomenal. If you're not, if you're still uh, doing a 40 hour a week, doesn't matter what career, whether you're working in an office where you're a, you're a, a technician of any sorts or medical field, it does not freaking matter. You're investing 40 hours of, out of your life and energy into a job. That might not be the case. And on top of that, we as men have this, um, we've been taught that we need to man, man up and be responsible, not only for ourselves, for our families that we're meant to provide if we have children, even more so, right, right? Um, so that's great, but in the process, where is the time for, for us to address what's within ourselves and how do we shift out of the false matrix, as some people may call it, and you can have your own opinion about that. I'm not gonna say neither here nor there. Um, and if that's your choice, that you wanna get out of that, what effort or what concepts are you putting towards that? And a lot of those concepts are many times driven by your ego. And your ego has a lot of, a lot of distortions. When you start addressing your thoughts and all, and all of that, those are parts of your everyday patterning, which is part of your personality, which is your ego. Start addressing some of those things within yourself that some people might say, well, it's a bit negative or what have you. And literally give yourself the time just to observe, observe those patterns and start figuring out man, does this make me feel like garbage or does it not? Does this actually inspire me to do something that, I am, that I'm gonna enjoy? And start figuring out how do you bring that balance between, oh, I'm loving life and I'm on this hand, I wanna be doing all this type of work that brings me joy, but because of the way we've been um, conditioned, Thank you. Uh, to think as males, as far as our roles here in the human body, we have this conditioned meant, I don't know if that's a word, it is now. Uh, we've been conditioned to that even if the job, it doesn't matter how, how bad the job sucks, you gotta stick with it and make good money to support your family, support this, support that, because that's the role of, of a freaking man. That's a responsible man. Yes, but where's the joy? Where is the joy? 
and doing that. Now, I'm not saying quit your freaking job, but I, I am challenging all the men out there to start looking within, start looking and finding all the stuff that has hurt you, that pisses you off, that it puts you, that keeps you in a lower frequency vibration, which is, you know, your sadness, your anger, your annoyance, all those emotions that put you in a point blank and a shitty mood and start addressing those. Give yourselves the time to start going through that. Why does this piss me off? Why does this aggravate me? Why am I so annoyed? My wife just said, told me this. My girlfriend just told me that. My, my boy said something, my best friend said something that just got me pissed off for no reason. And it can be something this small or even smaller, but you allowed it to piss you off. What within yourself allowed that to happen? Because that person did not cause you and the physical body to get annoyed, to get pissed, to get uh, frustrated. You did that to yourself. And now I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, guys. I've had those moments with my wife and she has pointed that out in me and me already being annoyed. And she's like, well, that which you just said has nothing to do with me, Ivan. It has everything to do with you. And of course I go from motherfucker to <laughs> right? And just want to scorch the freaking earth. Because that's what, how we've been conditioned. Let's be honest. You don't like something? Throw a tantrum. Get pissed the fuck off. Fucking kick the chair. You know, punt the cat. Don't punt the cat. First off, no animal abuse. Or whatever, you know. You just want to take it out and start bashing shit. Well, if you are that dude, and believe you me, there's many dudes out there. I happen to be one of them. And I've been doing a lot of work on myself for many moons now. Um, that I've learned to take a deep breath. Look at that, me just acting it out. My children just got tense because I wanna freaking do something. Um, and literally take a moment, go for, a, for, go for a walk, sort that out. And what, by sort that out, meaning, why did I get so pissed off? And start feeling. Don't think, don't think. Even that concept, when someone says, think about it, don't think about it, feel it, feel it. Your soul knows you're the truth. Your mind is a mechanism to understand the truth, but your soul knows the truth. What does it feel like inside of you? Well, I'm pissed the fuck off. Why are you pissed off? Start feeling into it. And the more you practice that and just feeling into it, if nothing comes up, you're like, well, I'm not getting crap. That's fine. That's fine. Breathe. And con continue to feel for it. Feel, what, feel where that pattern came from. In due time, that though big something comes up, something will come up. It'll be a scene or something from a childhood or a best friend or your ex-girlfriend or whatever that started that. There's a root cause to everything that annoys you, that pisses you off as a dude, as a guy, as, as a male in the male body and start addressing that. Can you let that shit go? Can you just let it go? Or do, are you still holding on to it like your life depends on it? When you start letting go, and if that means that you start crying, it's not weak to cry. Some of the strongest men out there cry. Despite what many cultures have, have taught you, well, men don't, men don't cry, it's weak to show weakness, or it's weak to cry, that you're showing weakness. No, when you cry, you're actually showing strength because you're willing to acknowledge that that is so freaking painful that your body's form of releasing that is through tears. 
when you release that, when you feel it fully, your body's reaction, because it hurts, it's crying. This is how you release stuff. This is how healing starts happening. When you acknowledge that within yourself and you acknowledge the lessons and yeah, there's something will come up that will may incite you to get a little uppity, but from my experience and what I've noticed is the more you do this, the more you acknowledge when you get pissed off and give yourself a moment, walk away if you have to. If someone else is still triggered and doing this, walk away from that person. Go be by yourself. Sort your own stuff out. Find that within yourself. How did you participate in with another person incite such, such, whether it's anger, such sadness, such whatever it is, and start figuring out by feeling into yourself. Why does this make me feel like garbage? And start addressing it. And what I mean by addressing it is view it for what it is. View it from a third person perspective. And then make a decision. Do I still want to participate that way? Do I still want to act that way? Because a lot of our experiences in our life have shaped the way we interact in, in our culture. And a lot of guys that are willing to do their own inner healing. And a lot of people don't wanna, don't wanna face that. And by face that, I'm talking about actually consciously looking at that which makes you feel uncomfortable and start healing it. And by healing it, I'm talking about feeling it within your body, acknowledging it for what it is, and in due time, not holding on to that concept or that idea or, or that, well, I remember when this mf -er did this to me, but releasing it. And by releasing it, I mean forgiving yourself because you participated in it, forgiving the other person as jacked up as it is. And believe you me, I've gone through my fair share of traumas as well, just like every person on this beautiful planet has. Um, and learning and it's not easy because it does take time. Learning to let things go. If, if that means you marinate it for a while and slowly but surely, little bit, day by day, you, you, you let go a little bit more and you let go a little bit more, you let go a little bit more until you fully let go, then that's how it works for you. That's how it works for you. There's no judgment. But start acknowledging your own internal stuff that causes you discomfort. That's actually the key a key word, what within myself causes me any sort of discomfort? You don't necessarily have to be pissed off, just something that causes you discomfort. And where does that originate from? The more you start doing this healing work, the more certain things will start coming forward. For some of the guys out there that are aware uh, that we all have had other dimensional lives, past lives or whatever, Once you start getting a lot of those memories coming forward, once you start making more sense of that information coming forward for you, you can actually start healing stuff that's not, um, that does not originate from this planet, but originates from somewhere else. Different planet, different reality, however you choose to view it. But start healing other things that go, come from other places. Um, and this is just my own personal, ad, uh, you know, advice and sharing that I want that I wanted to make a video and put out there for a lot of the guys because no one is talking about how to start healing yourself. They just say, uh, "I hear a lot of, well, just raise your frequency." <laughs> yeah, okay, I just laughed. My freak, my freak. Well, that was sarcastic, but whatever. Yeah, the quickest way to raise your frequency is laughter, happiness, things that are, that are very positive and all that, which is great. And it is great. But a lot of people, or what from what I've seen, that's all great and, and all. When you start acknowledging that there's 
you know, maybe there's a fairy version of yourself. Maybe there's an angelic version of yourself, that, uh, a divine, you know, whatever type of version of yourself, Christ itself, so on and so forth, right? Which that's all great. But what about everything that applies to here? The chakras that apply to being a human in this physical body, your root chakra, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus, your personality chakra, because that's where that is, resides. If you want to say resides, it, it doesn't matter. That's where you carry that. Your root chakra. Let's talk about that. Survival. So if, a, if and I'm going to say it in this way, a tree needs roots to ground itself and to grow and have a solid foundation. For a guy, we've been taught that you need to have a career, a solid, solid foundation, which is you study for a career, you get your degree, or you go in the military, you learn a trade, and that's your solid foundation. Those are your roots. This is how you survive. But if you have weak roots, and by weak roots, I mean certain patterns that you've learned from your parents, from your culture, from the media, that are causing fear, that are causing lack, that are causing any sort of uneasiness or any thoughts or concepts, opinions, because a lot of people are very opinionated, I'm sharing mine, um, that cause any unease within yourself as far as something that's very prominent right now. Oh my God, if I lose my job, what am I going to do? How do I pay my bills? You know, whether you have a mortgage, car bill, rent, it doesn't matter. Water, power, the essentials. How, how do I pay my bills, right? That's all a root chakra type of energy. When your root chakra, when your roots are weak, the tree topples over very easily. Start addressing those fears that reside in your root chakra. Easier said than done, but it can be done. You know, is it something that you've been taught, be, be, like with me, I was taught a lot of lack, a lot of scarcity. Oh, well, if you got a job, you got to stay on it. You got to keep on working that job because, you know, it, it could be worse. It could be worse. You might not have a job and then you're, you're you know, sorry, sorry out of luck. That's been handed down generations through generations through generations via lineages on both my parents' side. So I've had to go and start making peace with a lot of stuff and acknowledging those thoughts are not mine. Thank you, but no thank you. And then I send them back to them. Because I don't choose to live in a state, mental state, of lack. That creates uncertainty. That creates a, a wobbly foundation. So I'm constantly, if, and I've lived this, I would be in a fight or flight. Oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What, what if, what if, what if, what if? Well, if you keep on hanging on to those what ifs, where's your solid foundations? Where's your solid roots? And if you have all that insecurity, all that resides in your root chakra. And this is what I mean about doing that internal work. Start seeing, feeling what causes that uneasiness within myself. What causes me to doubt that I can't create that? What causes me to feel that I don't have the ability to create a job, to create a business, to get another higher paying job? That's a lot of the programming that a lot of the males have been taught. And when you hear all this stuff being propagated through the waking community of, oh, just... You know, um, your your higher self is guiding, the universe is guiding you and God's with you and whatever, which is true, which is true. 
and you know you're going to get the guidance to do the do this or do that and what have you you're getting the guidance it's just true what guidance who are you listening to if that guidance is to sit on your butt and not do a damn thing and that guidance is not start addressing yourself start healing yourself start learning how to create a solid foundation so that you can embody where are you going not going that direction okay so we can embody that divine essence that you are if that divine so view it from this way you have this divine essence energy coming into your body and it's supposed to be anchored here and the roots are weak that tree's going to topple over and that energy is not going to have a strong root system to anchor it here start clearing yourself start healing yourself start addressing yourself and you'd be surprised the more you start doing that the more not only do the small little things that used to annoy you and piss you off um not affect of you not it does not affect you it doesn't have that hold on you that fear that fear that literally gets a hold of you that fear that does not allow you to move forward and create Oh, I'd like to start a business, but I, I don't know if, I don't know. It's good to, I don't know. It's really good that you, I don't know. But the fact that you trust yourself to move forward because you're solid in your foundation, you're solid in, in your own abilities, and there's no one's, no one's opinion or influence that will deter you from your own solidity within yourself, your own solidity and belief in yourself. That's what makes things happen. That's what allows you, as you become more intuitive, as you start getting divine guidance. Um, let me, I'll change that as you start getting intuitive guidance on how to create something new that will provide you, say for instance, that financial support and create a job that's gonna give you that financial support, that job that brings you a lot of joy, that in turn turns into, it's not a job anymore of, oh my God, they pay really damn good and you know, even though I hate my job, I'm gonna keep, still keep on doing it, but it pays really good, but start becoming innovative and creating something different that you are gonna enjoy. And a lot of that happens it's easier to manifest that. It's easier to bring those concepts in when you clear all of that garbage inside of you. There's a lot of work to be done in the root chakra, your survivability, your fiber to flight, your solid foundations, your sacral chakra, you know, your creativity, your sexual energies, which your sexual energy is also anchored into your root chakra as well. Some may disagree and that's fine. What it comes back to is start doing your inner heal healing work. Because at the beginning of the video, as I was saying, I have not heard any guy or guys talk about doing any sort of internal healing work. There's a lot of this, there's a lot of that, there's a lot of information. Absolutely. Information is key. Information is power. But what do you do with it? Are you putting it to action? Are you creating something because you have this information? Or are you still in, stuck in lack? Stuck in fear? Which goes back to your root chakra. Back to your fight or flight. Do I feel confident in myself? And it's not a... And I'm going to... I don't like this concept is you have to take a risk. Why does it have to be taking a risk? Why can why don't we adopt a different way instead of, oh, you have to take a risk because risk implies possibility to fail. Why not imply I am solid in my own roots, I'm solid in my own ground, grounded abilities, I'm solid in my own belief in myself to move forward and create something brand freaking new that I know it may take time, but it's gonna succeed. Why? 
Not because this says it's going to succeed. Because this says it's going to succeed. Your soul is your true north. This has been, unfortunately, we've been manipulated in a sense to think that this runs a show and this is secondary, but in actuality, this runs the show. This is secondary. This gets the inspiration. This is, gets the guidance. This gets all the innovation. Those, oh, I had a wild idea. I don't know where it came from. But you feel the excitement here. And that's your motivator. And therefore, this uses all the resources of knowledge of how to create that which inspires you, right? But a lot of that is easier to be perceived. Thank you, I'm, I'm talking to my higher selves. It's e easier to be perceived and it's easier to be communicated, if you wanna say this way, or communicated, looking internally, um, to your divine self, to all your higher selves. You connect to them, to God, to source through your heart. And a lot of that information comes here. And this deciphers how to apply it in this reality. Everything that we have here, from this to your, the phones and whatever, was a concept, was an inspiration. This figured out how to make it happen. And congratulations, now I'm talking into a phone. Um, but again, it all comes back full circle to healing is a priority. Um, I'd like to see more of this. I'm going to continue to put, put more, more content like this because I don't see people that have a lot of, uh, of platform and a strong following. They're not even touching these, these subjects of healing yourself. The more healed you are, the easier it is to manifest and create and be inspired to bring uh, novelty, to bring new concepts. And these new concepts that will replace the old, outdated concepts, you know. And it comes back to be the clear channel. How are these, how, how are you supposed to bring that higher knowledge, that higher frequency knowledge? and hold it within yourself, hold it within your energetic field. Um, if you have a lot of garbage, a lot of debris, that's literally cluttering up all your space in your field. And that's what healing does. Heal healing actually clears all that space. Get this garbage out, that doesn't apply, this garbage out. Well, since when am I carrying all, well, since when do I care what so-and-so thinks? And addressing it and taking time to just to feel your way th through it Whatever is yours, own it. Good, bad, or indifferent, own it. And allow yourself to heal and feel neutral about it. And in due time, you'll know what to do. I don't need to tell you what to do. You'll know what to do. Your soul knows what to do. Um, and that, again, not only does it clear your space, you're much less contracted. When you're in fear, you're contracted. When you're in joy and you've got a lot more clearing, a lot of st stuff being released and removed, your energy field goes from being this to more expanded, more expanded, more expanded. The more expanded you are, just like technology, a bigger RAM, a bigger hard drive, the more information you hold. Well, a lot of this higher frequency information requires more space. So it's up to us as a human being to clear the body, to clear the vessel, to heal it, and so on and so forth. So our energy continues to expand and is large enough to hold, hold all in all this information that is being uh, brought forward to ourselves by who? By you, your other dimensional self, your higher frequency self, your Christed self. Did you know you had a Christed self? It wasn't only Yeshua Christ. You have that essence as well. And this is, has nothing to do with religion, by the way. This has everything to do with your soul essence. So, anyways, 
Hmm. I went a little long-winded on that one. But again, no one's talking about this, this stuff that I feel is utterly important for a lot of the guys to start being able to heal though. He, not only for, from the sake of, from the point of healing themselves, but man, I'm all this low light and blah, blah. How come I'm, I'm not getting this inspiration? How come nothing's manifesting the way I thought it's supposed to manifest? How come I feel that I'm struggling? How much garbage are you still carrying around? That's what's cluttering the pipeline from having a solid root foundation so this higher frequency, higher dimensional energies can come in. And the word that you guess use a lot is anchor. Anchor the light in, anchor the light in, anchor, 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 anchor. How are you supposed to anchor something when your roots are so freaking weak that the smallest little <sighs> you topple over? View yourself as a tree with weak roots. Small blend topples you over. So all this higher frequency energy wants to come and assist through a lot of our our um, divine male energy that I am that meant that all men. I don't give. I don't care if you're if you're gay or not. You carry very strong divine masculine energy, and that's going to be a topic for another another thing. But if you're in the physical male body, you're here to to anchor in that divine, undistorted masculine energy. I'm still learning as I go. I'm not saying I'm the guru or anything, but I will share what I do know. And, and hopefully this will be of some help for a lot of guys out there. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. How do you work within the current constructs of jobs and create something new and sustainable and organic? It's again, if you got a good paying job, don't freaking quit it. Cause who's going to pay for your bills? Who's going to pay for the responsibilities that you are? If you want to start creating something that is a side gig and then that starts taking off to where you can transition from your current job to that side gig that became a permanent business that gives you that financial support. Remember, it takes time to build a business. So let's use a little common sense. You know, I understand follow your intuition and by all means, follow your intuition. Don't take my word for it. Follow your intuition, but also question. I'm very clear audience. If certain advice is being given, Who's this that I'm that I'm speaking to? Because I can hear them, I can't see them, and until I'm able to see clearly, I'm going to question everything. You don't trust a stranger to come to you and tell you what to do. Question, even if it feels good. Question. Discern. That's part of your discernment. Who are you? Well, I'm I'm so and so. Who are you? I'm so-and-so. Who are you? Uh, oh, wow, you can't answer after being asked three times. Hmm. What's your business here? Why are you even talking to me? Just because I'm clear audience? That, what, do you think I want to hear you? Discern who you're speaking to. You f you'll feel in your heart when it's appropriate. What feels genuine? What feels true? what feels that is in alignment with your true north, your divine guidance, right? Uh, hmm. Okay, seems like I've covered everything. Yeah, as far as that goes, I went a little long-winded, not really. I'm only saying what I feel is appropriate just to put information out there because again, I'm not here. I hear people selling all sorts of jewelry. If you're into crystals, listen, I love crystals. Crystals are phenomenal high frequency um, beings. They're phenomenal friends. If you want to meditate with a crystal and create a grid, by all means, they're beautiful beings. The crystals are. If this resonates with you, if you're like, oh, dude, this freaking guy just went loopy. I can, I can feel, I can communicate with crystals, rocks, element, uh, elements, whatever. We all can. We all have these innate abilities if we choose to entertain it. If you're like, hey, man, that's not my thing. That's a little, that's fine. No one's forcing you to do anything you don't want to. It's your choice. Um, but the ultimate, no, 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 I'd delete the ultimate. The best crystal that you can work with is your body. 
your physical body is crystalline. Start working it with it. Declutter it. Polish it, if you will. And make yourself the, the best. There's a reason why we use a terminology. Oh my God, you, you're a superstar. You're a shining star. You're a star. Why do we say that we're a star? Just like a crystal, we emanate light. We radiate when someone performs. Oh my gosh, they're, so, they're, they're radiating such beautiful notes, whether it's singing, whether it's whatever, it doesn't matter. So-and-so is a star. There's a hint there. So anyways, guys, it's been fun. Uh, no, I don't have any fancy music in the background. No, I'm not wearing any crystals or anything what, like that, whatever. Um, if you if you choose, if you're that type of person that enjoys wearing crystals for jewelry, have fun with it. Personally, I don't. I don't depend on, and to each their own. Everyone can believe what they will. I do wear crystals, pendants sometimes and whatever, but I don't have the mindset or concept of, oh, I have to have this crystal to ward off this energy or to ward off that energy or to whatever, right? Um, part of becoming very intuitive is recognizing different energies and how to, how to deal with them, how to address them, how to ask your divine self, your higher dimensional self for systems and you vocalize, hey, can't, the most appropriate version of myself, my Christ itself, I need some assistance in clearing these negative thought forms and assist these energies to go and heal, envelop them in Christ's light and Christ's compassion. And, you know, for, I, you know, I forgive them and show them that they are forgiven so they can go to their place of healing, their place of rest or wherever they're meant to go. Ask, vocalize it. If you connect with freaking Yeshua, with Jesus, call Mother Mary, the energy of Mother Mary, or whoever, whoever you connect to. Um, I'm not going to start rambling off ran random names because to me it's irrelevant. It's who you connect with. Ask for the assistance and you will get that assistance. They're all waiting for us to literally vocalize it and invite them to participate. Um, so, yeah, that's really all I have as far as sharing advice with a lot of the men out there to take your time, take your time. And as you continue to heal your physical, but you're going to feel it physically. There might be a couple of days that you, that you just, you feel like, Oh my God, I'm in a funk and I'm like, Ugh. or man, I'm just moody and I'm just feel like I'm pissed off, whatever. Acknowledge it, own it. That's your body. That's your cells. That's your cellular structure releasing all of that as you can as you start purging as you start healing it's released in the moment your physical body your your cells still hold that memory once you release that it takes the physical body time to release it and that for me it's manifested in being a, a quiet a little bit more a quiet um moody but I've learned not to take the moodiness out on people. I'm just acknowledging, okay, this is what I'm going through. This is part of this purging process. How do I know this? Because I ask. And when I ask, I'm like, I'm purging, aren't I? I get this. It's not always inaudible. I literally see and feel. No words needed. So anyways, I love you guys. Um, be safe. If anyone has any questions or, or what have you, or feel free to drop or send, send me an email via um, IV24PZ at Gmail. Because um, I would actually like to start uh I don't know, maybe a group or something, uh, some sort of concept like that to where we can start helping a lot of men out as when it comes to their healing process, because I feel that it's very, very much needed. There's not a lot of people out there speaking on how, how to assist guys, you know, with the bravado, the machismo, the, you know, the whole alpha male, like, I'm, yeah, I'm a tough son of a bitch and blah, blah, and all this nonsense, right? Which, congratulations if you are. I'm a tough SOB too. 
I'm not a pushover, but I'm not saying it to to be like, yeah, I'm 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 the one. Like I'll MF for every, I'll take you out now. It has nothing to do with it. It's just an experience that you've gone through to show that you're a tough person. Myself personally, I've been in the Marine Corps. Do I flaunt it? Do I promote it? Absolutely not. What's that got to do? Why do I feel that I have to prove to someone? If I have a concept that I have to prove something to someone, there's something internally within myself, an insecurity within myself, that I should take the time and, and feel my way through it. Why do I feel that I have to prove something to someone? Why is there a need? Because if you're truly confident in your own abilities and who you are as a human being, there should not be any reason for you to feel that you have to prove something to someone. There's an insecurity, there's a lack, there's a <clears throat> lack of confidence within yourself if you are carrying that, point blank. I know this because I've healed it. And every day there's some times where certain things can come up and I'm like, okay, who, why, did, why is this bothering me? Or why is that there, the word that gets used a lot in the new age community, trigger? What does that trigger me? No, I'll be point blank. Why does it bother me? And to, just to address it. Take your time. There's no rush. This is not a competition. By no means. No freaking competition. But anyways, I'm going to stop before I continue rambling on. And here we are five hours later. And you're like, God dang, boy. Someone freaking who popped a quarter in his freaking slot. Doesn't need to know when or how to shut up sometimes. Anyways, you guys be safe. Um... And I look forward to hearing from you guys or putting more content out there. So, man, we got stuff to do. And here, start doing it, please. <laughs>